everyone. I'm Lisa with Ink and Inspirations. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I want to share a little treat wrap that I do some version of for just about every holiday or special day. And it's really quick and easy using some designer paper and some other embellishments that you have on hand, including your stamps. And so let me show you how to put it together. First of all, I have these little peppermint sticks. And if you've uh, seen my a YouTube channel or followed my blog for any time at Christmas time you saw me use this little particular package in a treat um, I'll point you to that video to show you how I cut these down but these are this is in our one by eight cello bags that I just cut down a little bit to fit because I like uh, the uh, secureness of keeping these little candy canes together in a treat wrap alright so here I have some everyday enchantment designer series paper and cut in two pieces. This one is two and a quarter by six, and this one is three quarter of an inch by six. And this uh, particular set you can get free with your $50 uh, purchase from Stampin' Up. All right, so what I'm going to do is take the candy canes that are already pre wrapped, and I'm going to wrap this just around it, just like that. Okay? And this is a layering process, and so I'm just going to start going up, first doing the designer papers, and wrapping around that in the center. Okay, now I want to use um, a little bit of tool. This is a little bit of off-white or cream color tool, and I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this Celebration ribbon. Uh, it comes from the Ribbon and Brad Pack, and I am going to use one of the Brads in a minute, too. And I'm just going to gather that together a bit and catch that under my thumb as well. Okay, so how we're going to put this together is with a little stapler. And I'm going to just slide this in and get as close up to the treat while catching all of those other little elements as I can. Okay? So see, and then we're going to cover that up with a stamped image in just a minute. And so you can arrange that and play with it a little more once you get it finished. Okay, so now I have this heart from the Take It to Heart stamp set in the Occasions Mini. And I'm going to punch that out with a full heart punch. You can also use the uh, hearts framelits to cut these hearts out, and but this fits really nicely with a um, little very vanilla border. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to want to take and put the brad in the center first before I pop that on. And I'm going to get my little mat there, my paper piercer, poke a hole, and then just stick this brad through. These brads are so cute. I love them. They coordinate so well with this designer paper. Okay. Next, I'm going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals. And pop that up. And that is going to cover the staple and where the embellishments are kind of bunched together. Okay? So you can kind of arrange the ribbons at the bottom like you like. Okay, isn't that cute? And then you can trim this if you want to. I think I'm going to cut a little bit of it off. Kind of round it off a little bit. And these treats uh, are great to hand out to your co-workers or give to your kids, your neighbors. Uh, they're just really fun. Um, last thing I'm going to do here is take my paper snips and just kind of put one of those little V's in here. Just got kind of make it fancy schmancy. Okay. So there's a quick and easy idea for you to make for treats for Valentine's Day. 
And if you have any questions, email me at lisa and inkandinspirations.com. Be sure to visit my blog at www.inkandinspirations.com. And soon I'm going to have um, where I turn this into like a bridal favor that would be perfect for a wedding. Be real elegant. You'll love it. Okay, so I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.